Welcome to Our Best Self. Here we share stories and experiences to grow healthy habits and practices that will lead to both your happiness and success personally and professionally. Come with us to explore mental strength, happiness, health, business success, and the gamut at large. What do the race car drivers and the sports car world focus on when they're racing? What do the most successful creators, artists, businessmen and women in the world focus on to be so successful? That is what we're going to answer right now on Our Best Self. And it's an insight that builds upon the idea of process, loving it, and understanding our why and the drive behind it. When we think about race cars, race car drivers are operating vehicles at very high speeds and their success is dependent upon them being fast enough to complete the distance and to get across the line in time. It's a simple equation. Go faster, longer than your opponents and you win the race. But by that measure, individuals would think that the way you do that is to have the fastest speed. But to win a race, you have the fastest speed not by focusing on the fastest speed. When you're driving, can only control the acceleration and deceleration of your vehicle. Once your vehicle is at speed, it's at speed. But as the racer, you control the effort in which the engine is being drawn upon to get faster, and where needed, decelerate in turns and in aggressive maneuvers. That is the difference because the faster we accelerate and the shorter amount of time we're spending decelerating allows the driver to thus have the fastest speed total. And what this analogy is trying to illuminate is you can control the RPM on a vehicle. You cannot control the speed. You can control where the, when the speed, when you stop applying effort and the RPM settle and you have a consistent speed. But if you look at your car right now while you're driving down the street, when you hit that gas pedal, what you first see is that the RPMs pop up because you see by pressing the pedal, you're affecting the revolutions. Thus, that will be applied to the ground, which will equate eventually to the speed. Just because the wheels are turning doesn't mean you're at that speed. And I think if you look at your car and you watch this behavior, you'll notice that the RPM is actually the only indicator that you have whether or not you're going faster or slower. And what's interesting and what is obvious to those that operate sports cars is that in the Ferraris and in some of the fanciest, most elaborate sports cars on the planet, in the center console, right in front of the driver, right between the eyes, is the RPM gauge, not the speedometer, the RPM. And the reason is, is that's the one we need to focus on. We need to focus on the effort because the effort leads to the success. And I think when you look at that analogy and what we see in the business world, we don't see the Warren Buffetts of the world acting in a certain way that defies logic and consistency. But instead we see Warren Buffett chasing proven companies and investing for forever. And 
that model's worked. And it's boring. And you can see exactly where he focuses and how he focuses. So when we think about your effort, your effort in this moment, right now, whatever you're working on, that is what leads to your success, your growth, and your health. Think about that. The effort right now, the effort that you're putting into your job, into caring for your child, to um, from photograph, to edit these the videos, to write the new book, the effort that you're putting into it at this moment is what's going to lead you to your success. It is because this effort right now is what you can control. You cannot control other factors. You can control your effort. And that effort is, above all else, the determining factor in your success. When we look at workouts and weightlifting and business, there are those that walk in and look at the scoreboard. And, and that's a mistake. It's a mistake because it anchors you and you believe that's the definition of good is whatever the scoreboard is. And you chase it. And what if you hit it? What if you do hit it? What if you exceed it? A one or two, right? You, but you won. You exceeded. But you didn't give your maximum effort. You didn't give your best effort. And in fact... You gave the effort that was just enough. You see, when we focus on the score, we get the score we see. When we focus on the effort, it opens doors that we did not even know existed. You see, effort improves your skill. It improves your capacity, capability. And with the persistence and consistency that that creates... It allows you what some scientists consider range, meaning as you get better, stronger, more skilled in a domain, you become broader and capable of pulling into other domains. And if we think about it from a training perspective, if you had to score three runs and you scored three runs, but you could have scored 10 and every day you did that, you only scored three instead of 10. At some point, you'll only be able to score seven, then five, then three, meaning you'll become less fit, less healthy, less successful. So focus on your effort what we can control, what we can achieve, and the score will reflect it. You may not win the game today, but you definitely will win at your pursuits. In the end, you should value effort more than score. And I think if you remember that, and you apply that to what you're doing today, you will be your best self. Thank you. I hope this is insightful. And let me know in the comments how I can help you.